Welcome to Gary Newman's Cars. I'm here at the Rally School. This week, I'll be learning some very specialised rally driving skills with a turbocharged Subaru Impreza. Hi Gary, how are you? Good, Pete, thank you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me more nervous, to win. Does it? Yeah. Nah, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. You've not done any rallying before then? No. No? No, nothing at all. No. Nothing. No, you've done a bit of racing? I've done some I've done some track days with my own car. Yeah. And I've done you know, Lotus Day and a Formula Four, these very short yeah. one day sort of exposes of, of, of short uh, glimpses sessions. really of what yeah. it's about. I think the good thing about those things is you, you go there, a lot of people seem to go there thinking that they're the next Michael Schumacher and you, and you definitely come mm. away realising that you're nothing of the sort. And so it's just been a series of knocks. Really. So you're not expecting to be the next Colin McRae? No, 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 no nothing right. at all. <laughs> I would have to realise that's not going to happen. So it's just, it's for me it's just wanting to learn more right. car control and so yeah. on so I can it, in one way, get more out of my own car, but just feel more confident in general, and just really experience a glimpse of, of what it must be like yeah. to do it for real. Yeah, I mean, today it will slide around quite a lot as well, so yeah, that will improve your car control a great deal. Right. Okay. Um, but everything will happen very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, the grip and everything with the car, it will just happen very quickly, so when it does slide, you'll just have to react. And there's plenty of places there's plen to slide there's to. There's that? plenty of places to slide yeah, to. I get so nervous about <laughs> damage in your car. No. <laughs> No, it's not that tight. Yeah. Not that tight. No, so, what sort right. of things that will we be doing? Basic car control, yeah, which is mainly getting the car to slide around. Which to start with, we'll just use sort of lift off oversteer rather than anything like left foot braking. Which have you done any of? I, yeah, I have a few yeah. times because I, I got a book on? about <laughs> going yeah. faster. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's a few. All about being a racing driver, so and there's a few things there that I tried. Uh, left foot braking being one of them, and yeah. it's. I'm just rubbish. And the other thing, do you do heel and toe braking? No, at again, all? I've tried that after reading me going faster, but uh, nearly crashed my car <laughs> twice, actually. Maybe so, we won't have a go at that. Well, I'd love to do it, because <laughs> yeah. everyone says that you're only ever going to go really quickly if you master that. So I'd love to. It certainly And I've never been actually taught, I've just read how right. you do it, but yeah. I, I made such a hash of it, I decided that the British roads aren't the place for it. <laughs> Not anymore. really, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Look at the car. You, yeah, should we have a look? Yeah, sure, show you around. Take yeah. Oh, you can carry on. Right, well, this is what you're going to be driving, Gary. Okay. And this is what? It's a Group N Subaru Impreza. Oh, right. Which is basically standard. As you can see from inside, it's, it's all original dash and everything inside. We actually run standard gearbox, standard drivetrain. Um, standard steering, so there's no high ratio at all, like your racing cars will have sometimes. Right. The only difference is, is the brakes, which we um, don't run the servo for here. I wonder if you want to have a sit in and just and just have a go with the brake pedal. It is quite hard. Oh, a little bit different. Don't want to move at no, all. a little bit different to your road car. So that's. That's oh, it, right, yeah. Okay, yeah, that. um, and it really is that the harder you press it, the quicker you will so stop. So a, a gentle press, not much going on? Nothing nothing will happen, really. Okay. At all. So it doesn't appear to be much difference between not much going on and, and as far as I can push it? It will keep going out. Yeah, that's it. But oh, if so you, you really are pushing yourself yeah, back into this. But you really don't want to stamp on it. Okay. Because you will lock the wheels up. So it's just braking nice hard. And push. Yeah, and nice and progressive. What's this thing? It says bar? That, that's your boost gauge. So you can actually see how much boost your turbo is running all the time, and if there's a problem with the turbo, the yeah. boost gauge will drop down. Okay. So you want it to be running at about 1.2, 1.3 most of the time. Right. And the rest of it, the screen underneath, is just a computer, which tells you it's got all the sensors on the car, oil pressure, temperature, water, and fuel pressure. So just you don't really take any notice of these little gauges, that's no. more accurate? Yeah, and that's really for your co-driver to keep an eye on. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. We're going to get kitted up and get started. Best way to get uh, out. <laughs> like that, I think. That's the other reason for wearing a crash helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some of my own kit. 
Yeah. And if you want to have a look through it, yeah, we'll make sure look. it's all right. Yeah, quick look through. See what you've got. It's mainly <coughs> from the my little go kart stuff. So right, that'd be appropriate. Um, here, I mean, it's full face, but I don't think that's. Can you don't need to comment. No. no, no, no. Then we'll we'll actually use one of ours. Okay. Just okay. basically, so we can just plug in, talk to you. They got the earphones in the side, so okay. it'll yeah, get quite no, noisy in the like car. That so just, that's just Sa saves me shouting at. Keep them away then. Um, gloves, racing gloves. Yeah, they're great. Good. Save your hands as well. Give you a bit more grip on the steering. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Little um, slimline boots. Yeah, they're perfect. Nice thin sole as well. So you actually get more feel through the pedals. These Same as you can. Actually, these they are. You've been doing a lot with these, haven't you? <laughs> Walking mainly. <laughs> Walking. <laughs> to and from accidents. Um, and suit. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's uh, it's a McCartin suit, so I don't think it's fireproof as far as I'm aware. But that's fine as long as you're comfortable driving in that. Yeah. I mean, usually people will just come dressed as you are, and just jeans and t-shirt, right, which is then. no problem. But if you're more comfortable wearing this. Yeah, if that's uh, all right, that's if, it's, yeah. if it's suitable, then yeah. it's, it's lovely and comfortable. I mean, in the competition, it'd have to be fireproof, but but here's not a problem. Right, OK, then. Right, that should cover you. Yeah, well, that's, we, we, we've oh, that's got it. helmets here. Yeah. Yeah. Motorbike one-piece, and that's a, an all... You, when we, I've got a canoe, but it's like a one-piece... <laughs> hopefully you, keep want, you, dry hopefully you won't need that today. <laughs> the cars came about because I was... I, I had a... A problem in London. I was in. I'd had a an incident with somebody. So it's a couple of men in a van, and um, and they decided to, to sort it out there. And then they tried to get me out of my car, and they're going to give me a good a good thrashing. And uh, it's quite scary at the time, actually. And I ended up getting away from that by driving up onto. The, it was all traffic, you know. Uh, driving up onto the curb, and and it's. I was mad, really. I was driving along and scattering pedestrians. I was just so scared and wanted to get away. I was, I was just going for it and um, I got away. But it was it all came about because of that, really. And how, when you're in a car, you you lock your doors and you're somehow separated from the rest of the world. Uh, and there, there is this you know, clear and obvious barrier between between you and the rest of the world. Um, everything is quieter. You know, the rest of the world becomes a quieter place, and you have this ability to be able to get away from any situation most of the time um, and, and that's what cars is all about really you know, you know, it was in some respects it's to do with road rage I suppose that it wasn't called road rage then and personally for me how I feel safe in a car all right what we'll do do one slow lap to show you the way around, just the direction, everything else and the markings which are the tyres that have stood up. And then the second lap will be quicker using the technique that you're going to start off with which is just like lift off oversteer and right foot braking okay. with that uh, control. And then the third lap I'll use left foot braking which I want to get you to do later. Yeah. Um, and you'll see the difference in the control and just the balance of the car just by using left foot braking as well. Okay. So basically you're trying to look as far ahead as you can all the time, coming round to the left through the tyres that have stood up, which don't necessarily mark the corner or the apex, and just help you mark the direction. Okay. Because your apex can be very early or very late. Coming round to the left, you'll always find it's right and then left. A bit like a ski slalom, so it'll be easier to follow. Coming round to the right, just staying out nice and wide here, right on the edge of the gravel. Coming over to the right here, braking hard, just let the car turn to the left before you put any power on. And then you're accelerating hard from here, going past the bush, looking for the tyre, and then right. And then accelerating hard here to carry the speed into the hairpin, which is two sets apart, braking hard, turning left, then right, let the car turn into first and out you come. Okay. Then following the track you're just accelerating hard, be up to third, looking for the tyres with the white stripe on there, where you're going to be braking hard, coming round to the right, 
down to second, left, and then nice and smooth on, smoothly on the power, keeping the car over to the left here. You may need to brake a little bit to turn into the right to get the weight over the front and into the left there. And then as we go right, it's just on to the power, accelerating hard from here and round to the left. Just clipping the bank there, keeping the power onto the left and round to the right. And then braking hard here, the hairpin is to the right, turning left. As you turn right, coming off the brakes, let the car turn into first and accelerate away. That's, that's such a long way over there. Yes, that's it's a lot further over than you think. It gives the time time for the back of the car to turn that little bit more. Right. You see that the front is almost in the mud. And yeah, and then literally just before there, you turn it right. Yeah. And then going quicker, accelerating hard over to the left, braking as you go right, then left, then onto the power, keeping the power on through the right, then braking hard as you go right, turn left, let the car turn, then power. Then over to the left, brake a little bit as you go right, turn it back, a little bit of power, then on to the power, braking hard, turning right, let it turn. And then accelerating hard, third, then braking hard as you go right, down to second, left, then power, over to the left, braking as you go right, then left, just let the car turn again, and right, just easing the power through there, just over the bank, then braking, over left, then right. And away you go. No. no <laughs> Good. I'm not going to do it. You, just, you will be able to do that. No. All right. <laughs> you will. You will. Confidence. It's, yeah, exactly. That's what you need. That's all you need. But, you know, meanwhile, back in the real world, I'm not going to do Welcome back to Gary Newman's Cars. I'm here at the rally school, and finally, it's my turn to rally. Yeah, what we'll do just for the first lap, we'll just do a nice slow lap, show you where you're going, just get used to where you're going a little bit. Okay. And then we'll just stop and then go out and do a few laps, just building your speed up each time. Okay. Basically trying to look for the track through the gravel, coming round to the left here. And you want to stay out to the left, aiming for this right face tire on the left, now right. Then you'll be braking, then round to the left, and then onto the power, keeping close to the tyre on the right, so you're in the grip of it. Let the car come over to the left, now right, and then braking, let the car turn into the left, then onto the power. Now start to go right, and hard on the power. Now braking, down to second. And then it'll be hard on the power, braking here, right, left, right. And as it comes round to the right, just come off the brakes, let the car turn into first, get the wheels straight and hard on the power. Okay, now braking, turn left, left, left. You did that time, but a little bit late, that was all. So I've got a left in, but yeah. too, far too late. Yeah. Bloody hell. Aim for that tyre on the right, braking hard, left, right, off the brakes. Not too much steering as you come into there next time. If I have a look here. Am I doing any gear changing for that last half? You don't, no, you don't actually need to then. No. You can stay in, in third. Um, I'll be in third by then, come back to there. Maybe in third, it, probably second to start with anyway. Yeah. Keep it revving in second, and then as you're braking hard, yeah, stay off, don't change gear at all. You don't don't, don't worry about the clutch there. No, stay off the clutch as you're braking, because so, that helps the weight transfer to the front. Okay. Um, helps slow everything down, but allows the weight of the car to move and get the weight over the front, but let, make the back light to allow it to turn under braking. And as soon as you feel it turn to the right, you then come off the brakes into first, ready 
to actually put the power on to come out. If you think it's going to slide a little bit too much, yeah, just a little bit of opposite lock to the left and then onto the power, because that will pull the car through as well. Right, should provide that I can get the back end going yeah. at all? What, what, yeah, once that starts happening, we'll sort the rest out afterwards. Okay. 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 When I first became successful, it, it, I was very successful. You know, I was selling a huge amount of records, and you become a household name, and, and that obviously means that pretty much every person you meet in the street knows who you are. Uh, although the vast majority of them don't actually like what you do, that's the truth of it, because you, and you sell a million singles and 59 million people didn't buy it. That's a f the truth of it. So it doesn't exactly make you big-headed. It makes you, if you've got half a brain, it makes you a little bit paranoid because most of the people you meet don't like what you do. And a significant number of those want to tell you that they don't like what don't like what you do. So there's that side of it, and the press are really into you. You know, and every move you make, every if you go to an airport, they're there, and it, you know, every every single thing you do, from going to the shops to scratching your nose is someone's taking a picture of it so on. and so it's that loss of privacy which is very difficult and of course it's at its worst when you first become successful um, but when you're least equipped to deal with it because you have no experience you, you don't know what you're doing there really. so it just starts to get a little bit quicker each time Gary coming over to the left go right now brake a little left, make it turn a little bit of power, off the power, turn right to right, a little bit of power now. That's it. Yeah, got that wrong. Yeah, just come in over to that left a little bit quicker. Okay, right. coming in now, we're going to go now braking, left, right. And we'll come in into there, because we'll get the corners right, we'll be coming in quicker. That should be about the right time there to do your braking. Now hard on the power, and third. Now braking, I think that's fifth, Gary. Oh, now stepping, and left. Uh, now braking. Right, off the brake. Didn't quite come round that time. <laughs> I came off the brake, I must have just gone too far the other yeah. way, I guess. Well, it's going quite well, or well, maybe not. I'm starting to get the idea with some of it, but this heel and toe thing is still a mystery. I'm, I'm very disappointed with how well I'm doing so far, actually. <laughs> I'm finding it very, very difficult. Um, I'm completely behind the car. Um, I'm completely behind the bend I'm on, let alone the one that's coming up. And so, um, a, a, a lot of learning to do. No, it's getting on, getting on quite well. Just needs to relax a little bit more and just really sort of not try so hard wants to do really well but it's having an adverse effect at the moment but it's still getting a little bit better each time. The areas I'm most confident about are um, <laughs> opening the door really. There's nothing, I, there's, there's nothing yet is, is going smoothly or flowing smoothly for me at all. Um, I, I'm, I'm not getting the turning away right, I'm not getting the braking right and I'm still only trying to do it at the beginner's level, I'm not even getting to left foot braking and, and so on. So there's no there's nothing at all that I can think of where I'm particularly better than anywhere else, unfortunately. Well, a couple of things we are going to work on in a little while, just left foot braking, which is a lot more uh, responsive and a lot more controlled way of driving the car. Um, that's one thing that we're going to work on. Uh, braking harder is another thing. Um, and then just really just actual car control, because the balance of the car will be a lot smoother with left foot braking than it is without. a little bit too hard, yeah. which is why you're just starting to make yeah, a few more. Carried away. I just want to slow it down a little bit because you get quite a few tyres and yeah. the front lights hanging out.
So apart from only crashing your car twice <laughs> and uh, inflicting some minor damage, <laughs> uh, overall on the day, uh, how, how, how have I done really? Oh, it's been, been very good actually. I mean, your improvement's been good all day. I mean, your concentration still tends to die off a little bit when you start to try very hard. Yeah. yeah you tend to try too hard sometimes because you just want to do it rather I'm than. I'm confused like, actually. Like, I'm flowing along and, it, and it's feeling. Great, nice and comfortable. And then I push on a little bit, and, and instead of it getting better, I, my brain goes, oh, can't cope with it. And yeah. I'm all over the place again. Yeah, and your, your overall driving is just, you know, has improved like 100% to this morning. From rubbish to <laughs> just about rubbish. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't rubbish this morning, but you know, it's, it's just the way you started to listen a lot more. All right. that, that was very good. Well, thank you very much. Anyway. Suppose you go. Sorry about your light. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Uh, that's all we've got time for this week, so tune in again next week to Gary Newman's Cars. Bye-bye. Next week I'll be driving the amazing Caterham Fireblade at Brands Hatch. Bye for now.